I spoke with Lisa Salberg, who's with the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Association yesterday. Just a fantastic conversation with Lisa. Uh, HCMA is going to work with me, as you may have heard, as I do this vlog of my journey getting the assistance that I need to repair, fix my heart, be it medicine, whatever it might be, I am going to share it with you. I'm going to share with you how I feel when I have to make a decision. I'm going to share how I feel on bad days. Today started out a bad day. I had zero energy. A lot of it is a side effect of medicine that I'm currently on that helps with my blood pressure and it helps keeps my heartbeat under 100 beats per minute. That's a good thing. <laughs> when you're just sitting in a chair and out of nowhere your heart starts racing over 100 beats per minute. That's scary. But I think it's somewhat common with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The other day I shared I would be doing Joey's HCM journey and of course, I continue to plan that. Nothing but good things have come since that first segment was published. New relationships, new friendships. There are heart problems in a lot of people, right? I think the majority of those heart problems you hear about are plumbing problems. Uh, too much plaque in the arteries. And sometimes that can be fixed, right? I have a whole different problem. Mine is hereditary, it's structural. Uh, my heart wall is thickened and my heart is large. It's an enlarged heart because it's had to work so hard over the years. My heart doesn't relax enough. So if it doesn't relax enough, it doesn't let enough blood flow into the heart. So when it beats again, there's less blood than is ideal to pump out to my feet, to my hands, to my head, clearly. Uh, I'm not always getting enough oxygenated blood up there, but I'm gonna be working with Lisa and Julie and all of my friends at HCMA. It's that group for people who have HCM or may have questions about HCM or maybe a caretaker for somebody with HCM. It's a struggle. Uh, one of my sayings growing up as a joke always used to be, well, it's a hardship to say the least. That was always my joke line. But let me tell you, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, it is a hardship to say the least. And I'm working on it. I'm in contact with Cleveland Clinic. Hopefully we are going to get new tests set up. That would be an echogram and an MRI and all of the things that need to be done. And then we're gonna make some decisions. And then we'll move forward. And you will get to be part of that journey every step along the way, because I wanna share it with you in the hope that if you or someone you know is diagnosed with HCM, you know a little bit more about the journey. We want to be factual, as Lisa said during our Facebook Live yesterday. We want to have fun along the way. Life is too short. There are going to be tears. There's going to be sweat. There's going to be a lot of work to be done, a lot of decisions to be made. And I'm just glad that you are watching today and that you were along for the ride. And I'm hoping that somebody somewhere learns something to keep them from going to the dark spots, the lonely places over the last 10 months since I received my diagnosis and a behind the scenes look at how do you navigate that? How do you navigate learning this new information that you have a hereditary heart disease and there are currently zero centers of excellence in Indiana. So what am I going to do? Next step, talk to an expert at a center of excellence, which I believe is going to be at Cleveland Center. I have other choices like Northwestern. There's the Mayo Clinic. 
But right now we're really taking a look at the Cleveland Center to see if that is an ideal fit. Once again, thank you for watching this clip today. Please share it if you don't mind. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Joey Olery Graham. And you can find more information out about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy online at 4hcm.org. Next time we talk, we'll have more to unpack, and I'll see you soon.